Doubles Pickleball Strategy 101 How to Play Smart Pickleball 10 Basic Tips In this video we will show you how to play smart or high percentage pickleball. The biggest thing holding back most intermediate players is not their ball striking skill. Instead it's failing to understand smart play. Before we get started with the specifics Let's talk about a main strategy objective of pickleball, which is getting your team to the net as quickly as possible. In this way, doubles pickleball is like doubles tennis. The team at the net has a huge advantage over players who are back in the court. So, most of the key strategy tips we will list are aimed at securing the overall strategy of getting your team to the net while keeping the other team away from it. Starting out, I'll go over the smart strategy shot by shot, starting with the serve. For this lesson, we will assume that all four players have equal skill. Tip number five, shot number three, the third shot. Play the third shot intelligently. Normally, this is a drop shot. Let's assume your opponent made a great return of the serve and is now with his partner at the net. In other words, the second shot landed deep in your territory and you now face two opponents at the net. Your goal is to get your team to the net. The ideal third shot is a drop shot into the no volley zone, also known as the kitchen. Such a drop shot requires practice. A good place to aim is shown here. This requires the opponent to hit a backhand shot. As you execute such a shot, you and your teammate should quickly scramble toward the no volley zone line. The rather slow drop shot described allows you more time to scramble forward than a fastball. The following video clips show the first three shots played as described here. Notice the serve to the middle of the box, the return down the middle, and the drop shot into the no volley zone. Suppose you don't have the skill and touch required to execute the drop shot into the no volley zone as just described. The next best strategy then is to return the ball down the center as softly and as low to the net as possible. Follow the shot and make as much forward progress toward the net as possible. When your opponent is about to hit the ball, stop where you are and get into a ready position. Now let's suppose that one or both of your opponents fails to get to the no volley zone line following their return of serve. In such a case, you no longer need to execute the rather difficult drop shot into the kitchen. Instead, you should attempt to place the ball at foot level and to the backhand of whichever opponent is farthest away from the net. Immediately upon hitting this shot toward the opponent's feet, you and your partner need to scramble to the no volley zone line to establish dominance of the net. If you are receiving the third shot and it fails to drop into the no volley zone, but instead comes in deep or hard such that you can hit it as a volley shot, hit the volley shot deep to the left foot of whichever player is farther back. 